Good afternoon, everyone, from this beautiful bamboo forest. No, I didn't have to drive or take a train hours to get here. I took five minutes of time to walk from my house to here, and every single afternoon, I come out to this bamboo forest and enjoy the pristine, almost untouched nature. Yes, I don't have instant access to metro stations anymore. Yes, I can't order food delivery to my house, but bamboo! I love bamboo, so I think it's a worthwhile trade-off. You might argue otherwise. And I'm so excited to take you guys with me on my evening stroll today, starting in this bamboo forest. This is chapter one of the evening stroll. And then we're gonna head down the valley and say hi to the neighbors, walk through the villages, see the rivers, see the rice paddies, see all the little village critters running around. All right, now come along with me and I will take you guys on my evening stroll. Let's go exploring. Check out this view. Bamboo forest over here. My neighbor with the amazing scenery over here. I mean, I say my house has good scenery, but can't compare with this guy. Tea fields, more mountains. An excellent start to my evening walk every single day. Hello there. This place has pretty good bird diversity. I see lots of cool birds outside my office window every day, but I have to say, I will always prefer the humble chicken, one of nature's most beautiful creations. So always gotta have some chicken watching during my evening stroll. And over here, please appreciate more tea fields. I love the bamboo and tea field combination. It's just like maximum China vibes. I love the 3D look of the tea fields. It's like a crop terrace almost. They're so cool looking. So there's a nice little lookout spot here with the reservoir and tea terraces and more bamboo. I never get tired of bamboo, in case you're concerned. So this whole upper area here is a bamboo forest. And then after I stroll through this bamboo, I head down into this village below here and then go on a loop. And right next to this line of crops, there are some people up in the mountain digging for bamboo, a local delicacy. Bamboo is a very versatile item, so you probably think of it as an ornamental plant or as like a flooring material or as a furniture material, but it's actually also a very delicious thing, but you can't eat it when it's like a mature bamboo. You have to grab it when it's a little, a little baby, you know? So there's always people up there in the mountain digging for bamboo shoots. came up here to enjoy the last little bits of sunshine, the last few rays of the sun before she disappears behind the mountain. And I'm covered in these little seed things. That's mother nature for ya. I do enjoy the quiet zen vibes of this bamboo part, but then it is equally as fun to go down in the village and chat with people and see the chickens and see the dogs and, you know, just enjoy that village atmosphere. Welcome to the neighboring village. Of course, I'm greeted by barking dogs. So if you don't like dogs, don't come out to places like this. <laughs> wow. Look at that beautiful sunlight coming through the mountain.
Right now, everyone is harvesting their bok choy, I believe is what this thing is called in English. And if you grow too much of it to be able to eat at once, you can dry it as many people are doing. And as you can see, more bamboo. People like to use bamboo for all kinds of stuff around here. Wow, wow, wow. A classic sound in rural China, aside from the birds and the chickens and the dogs, a truck selling stuff. And right alongside this village road, we have a bunch of exercise equipment. And there's this creature, which I guess is like the mascot of this village or something. No one's really told me like the clear story behind this so far, but it has some sort of cultural significance here. And it's a combination of a bunch of different animals. It's got like a bunch of different tails of all the different creatures that it's made out of. I don't know, usually I see like dragons and lions and stuff in Chinese folklore, and I've never seen something like this. It is unique, that's for sure. So we've got exercise equipment, ping pong table, confusing mascot. And right here, we have this little thingy where you can sit and chill. All right, now I'm departing from this village and it's time for chapter three of my evening stroll, which is the beautiful, golden, rippling rice patties, which are gone because I got here too late. Not only do people's crops look super lush and green, even being so late in the season, this woman here is actually still planting things. Apparently, this vegetable can live through the winter, even through the snow, and she's planting it to eat next year. So I guess it just thrives in winter conditions. So unfortunately, they mowed down these rice patties to eat the rice barbaric so now the beautiful aesthetic is gone i'm just kidding don't come at me in the comments please i know it's food i know it's not decoration it was just cute okay but i have lots of video footage from back when the rice was in its former glory so let's look back at those happy rice patty memories
So the rice patty is a little bit underwhelming at this time in the season, but I hope that my happy rice patty memories were able to kind of fill you guys in on what it used to look like. And now we're moving on to the next chapter, which is this lovely little path along the riverbank. During my evening stroll, I love the sound of the birds chirping and the babbling brook, but sometimes I like to add in some extra stimulation, a little bit of music, some podcasts, or today's sponsor, Blinkist. Blinkist is an app with condensed versions of over 6,500 different nonfiction books and podcasts. Each one is about 15 minutes long, and there's a huge range of topics such as politics, philosophy, and personal development. If you have a super busy schedule or struggle to commit to an entire book or podcast, then Blinkist is the perfect way for you to satisfy your curiosity about the world and get all kinds of interesting knowledge and insights. There's also a cool new feature called Blinkist Spaces where you can share content you found interesting or insightful and your family and friends can access it even if they don't have their own Blinkist Premium subscription. Today, I'm listening to Atomic Habits by James Clear and there are so many interesting concepts in this book about how to build good habits and keep them going long term. I'm particularly intrigued by the concept of temptation bundling, where you link an important but unappealing behavior with something you enjoy, helping you gradually take on a new habit by associating it with a dopamine trigger. If you're curious what other interesting insights are in this book, what are you waiting for? Now is the perfect chance to get a Blinkist premium subscription. There is a Black Friday deal running from now until November 30th. And if you grab this deal, you can get 75% off of a premium subscription. If you guys are interested, check out the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen. And now let's get back to the fall scenery. I'm so envious of my neighbors who have geese. I want geese so much, but they're so loud. So I can't have them because I have too many neighbors in close proximity. I have serious geese envy right now. Like, look at these guys. Who does not want that in their yard? This dirt house here is one of the very few like really old houses left in this neighborhood. Like there's some houses that look like they were built in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and a lot of modern houses. But this is one of the few that's like really been around for a long time and no one's living in it now. They're just keeping their motor scooters and other miscellaneous stuff in here. Kind of like a little garage, like a little storage shed. And their actual house is here. So I just find these interesting. I've only encountered like three of them or so in the neighborhood. It's a cool little time capsule. Up this hill here is one of the local mini baby temples. There's like three or four of them scattered in the vicinity. And they're usually pretty quiet. They're nothing like those really big temples that you guys have maybe seen in some of my other videos. They just have events once in a while and I have stumbled into some of those before. They're pretty fun, pretty interesting. everyone it's dark it's cold it's time to head home i hope you guys enjoyed my evening stroll and stay tuned for more about life in rural china see you next time